I don't know who is in charge of TikTok or who's in charge of the TikTok algorithm type jump, but you got to figure out what you trying to cut, gang, because like the content overall, and this ain't just on my feed, this is on other people's feed. TikTok is like the greatest game of like Russian roulette ever, bro. Like you, you can, you can go in there and get some solid like enjoyment that you know, like it's worth you scrolling on. And then you just get bombarded with like a whole bunch of bull crap that really don't even matter. You feel me? One second I'm sitting there on the, on, I'm sitting there just, you know, watching a video, some, some typical anime bull crap. I'm like, all right, cool. And then bam. Every single woman I know has a vision for the future, knows what they want out of life. You ask a woman where she sees herself in 10 years, she has an idea. Men, on the other hand, ask a man where he sees himself in 10 years. He doesn't know. Because the girl no longer can leverage her sexuality against you for compliance. So now you're going to see how she really behaves and how useful she can actually be to you. 13 to 50 slides deep into men versus women politics. It's just like it doesn't even correlate like how i go from watching freaking a clip of naruto you know doing some crazy bull crap to immediately uh the science of how males don't understand women and how women are you know unappreciative it's like at the end of the day who who really is coming on tiktok for you know their relationship issues and relationship advice you feel me like there's one thing if you find like a clip or something that's like extremely relatable and you know you're like all right yo this is relatable she says something that resonates with me i can completely understand the point that this person's trying to make but then it's like you got people sitting there having like full-on 45 to like 55 post arguments about the psychology of male and female in the relationship or uh, whatever that doesn't that's not the definition of a high value man. yeah but like <laughs> tell me give sure. me some reasons how you're high value i don't have to qualify exactly because you have none you're on my show okay that's proof in itself shut up uh, and it goes back to what i'm saying is like why are we why are you using a, a video app to you know lock in and signify the structure of how your relationship should go like you're you're taking advice from a person who's like doing a freaking twerk challenge in a bathroom stall at like a chili's and then they're also like in a hair bonnet giving you advice on how men aren't loyal or vice versa you're watching a dude sit there and freaking light himself on fire for fifteen thousand views and then he sits there in the next post and talks about how high value men are not appreciated by women like it's it's the most backwards logic ever and then on tiktok after you get done dealing with all that other bull crap like you know your your algorithm feed is just like like i said it could either be cooking or it's just some bull crap like i'll literally be watching something funny i'm laughing rdc amp you know their clips those plug channels whatever you get me you're like you're getting some excitement out of those and then I'm watching a, a, a seal get brutally murdered. On an, on, on, on an ice block. Like, where, where is that relation coming from, bro? How I go from watching somebody, you know, having a good time on their subathon to watching a seal get thrown 80 feet in the air then ripped apart by a polar bear. Like, and I saw one clip, like, the, the the seal, like, he looked at the cameraman, like, bro, like, you just gonna watch? And I'm sitting here laying in bed watching, like, dang, like, I wish I could save, cuz. But it's like, then again, I had to, like, you know, and this is, I think this is the crazy part about, like, this, right? There's a point where I'm watching this seal, like, jump in the water, and he's, like, fighting for his life in the, in the water. And I'm such an idiot. I like in my mind, I'm like, bro, if that was me, I wouldn't have got caught lacking like that. And I had to stop and really think. I'm like, I'm Damien Good. One on one, I'm undefeated. Never lost. 
Will you stop it? No, Never lost one on one. Me. That don't make any sense. Dude, listen, ain't nobody really being hated one on one. I was saying something like that. Took you the distance one on one. Exactly. You look like you were tired of this. Yo, Kite, do you hear yourself, gang? That's a polar bear, bro. You, you're not out swimming a polar bear, you freaking idiot. And I really was just like, bro, I gotta get off TikTok. Cause like, it got me thinking that it's the logic of if a seal, which is an animal that's in water, can't out swim a polar bear, why? Why did I suddenly believe that I was the guy that can outswim a polar bear? Like this, like this is it's just TikTok, bro. Like I gotta get off the app. But then it's like, if I turn the app off and I like ignore the app, when I finally do go back to the app, I didn't miss like 85% of what's happening in the world. Because for some reason, the only way you can get accurate news accounts and articles of something actually happening is on a TikTok feed, which is so backwards. And it's just like, I, I, I know now like the world is in like, you know, the, the, the final chapters of the book of revelations off of a TikTok video. And I'm like, dang, that's crazy because my day to day life is so bull crap. I don't care about what's going on. But then it's like in the middle of me learning about like the, oh yeah, the world's about to end and we're all about to, you know, go poof in a couple like couple of weeks. You know, there's a, I get to watch a chick in a fat burger, you know, uniform freaking thirst trap over a sandwich, I guess. Like, it, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like, I feel like the TikTok algorithm, like, I think they said something like, hey, you know, your algorithm's based off of, you know, the post you like and then the post that, you know, your close friends and people who view your page what they similarly like and if that's the case some of my homies got some like crazy explaining to do because you know either one of us is like a psychopath and we're watching animals get murdered for the sake of it or one of us is extremely horny and we're attracted to women that work at fat burger but you know like either way like it's it's the greatest Russian roulette I've ever seen in my life. Like I just, you know, that the TikTok algorithm is undefeated. And you know what? The second you try to stop it, you know, you're addicted to go back because you want to see just how crazy things can get. You feel what I'm saying? You can't hate the maker and Jesus paid my way, so I won't need the way, bro. I'm not the trade, bro. I'm getting paid, bro. I'm going straight up. I'm not from Oakland, but I'm a writer.